You're going to hear an audio tape of Grandma Yola Banker, Grandma Yola Martinet, Martina Banker, and I'm going to show you photos of the family. I think I was about uh, 12 or 13, probably 13, in this photo, and Grandma Yola um, used to wear a headband like that for a while, pretty often, um, at least around that age. And uh, I had a lot of clothes that said that were from guests. We'd go shopping there a lot. Um, Grandma Yola thought the quality of the clothes was good, that it would last a long time. So it was worth the extra price, she thought. And here's Grandma Yola talking about the houses and how uh, they decided to maybe try to move a house from where the freeways were being built instead of building a house since they didn't think the wood was very good after the war. After World War II, they thought the wood was too green because um, they were people were by, building a lot of houses. Maybe we can find a house to move. You mean you'd, you'd see if there was a house somewhere and uh, that they didn't want it anymore? Yeah. So they could just move it over. So they could just move it over. And we go to do my thing. Me and Mama and me and now we go on that puppy. You know. So every morning, Grandma Yola's mom, Ida, and her would look in the newspapers, and uh, that's where, you know, before the internet, houses were listed for, for rent or for sale uh, just in the newspaper. So they'd look in the newspaper and then uh, go and see it. And Grandma Yola is speaking in her Waldensian dialect, Prustinank, which is kind of like... Uh, Piemontese, Piemontese from northwestern Italy, the Piedmont region, but it's really called Piemonte. There's Grandpa Bob. You know, uh, she had a cup, the bujo. What's that? We would, every morning my mom and I would get in the car and we'd go look all around for houses to move that we'd see in the paper ads in the paper. But, but Kate, I, I, at that time, it was in Dante Freeway New. They were making a lot of new freeways at that time, so there were houses in the way where they wanted to put the freeway in, so they had to, you know, move the house somewhere else. People would sell their houses, um, and, you know, go live somewhere else. Tanti freeway new. And when I put you in a car, they really destroyed them. They would get rid of them so and destroy them, they, or they would move them. Yeah, they'd move houses where the, they were in the way of the freeway. Yeah. So they were newly yeah. building. And we go to the... Uh, First, I see Cacau La Cac at 98.55, uh, uh, Levy. Uh, um, he, he had a, a, a gross, a long, <laughs> You saw the house, the yeah. house to move, it was yeah. 98.55, yeah. and it was long. Yeah. And, uh, in near the, um, uh, the freeway, the, the Chamao Hollywood Freeway then. Where was 98.55 house originally before they moved it? It was um, um, on the uh, 5, no, is that the 5 that we go to uh, Arcadia and was it that 10? No, that's the 10, isn't it? Okay. It's 10. That uh, made that between Arcadia SEC. Path between, path between yeah. Arcadia and yeah. Westwood yeah. is where 9855 House originally was. Yeah. <laughs> so somewhere on the Hollywood Freeway, where they were building the Hollywood Freeway, 
was where the house that we now have at 9855, um, before it burned down, uh, came from. End of this side of the tape. Oh, I guess the other side's going to be empty. Yep, there's my dog Phantom. Fanny. And um, I think this photo was taken on Balboa Island, uh, the little house we rented there. We, we just rented the bottom floor, the first floor. Um, I don't know why it would be hot there, but um, pretty sure that's where that was taken. It'd be about the right age there. Grammyol is trying to uh, make my ears not feel so hot. Maybe we didn't have air conditioning there or something because it was the beach. So yeah, I know with the 9855 house she was talking about, uh, it had a real pretty chimney, and Grammyola thought that the whole house would be moved uh, to the, to our property, but uh, they couldn't move the chimney, you know, with all the bricks, so uh, they had to cut the house in two lengthwise, you know, because it was a narrow, long house, so they had to cut it in two, and... Uh, kind of where the chimney was, I think, and then just not bring the chimney. And uh, I think they had to get permits or something to transport the uh, chimney. Uh, transport, not the chimney, but the, uh, the whole, the whole, the two halves of the house uh, down all the streets. And, you know, I think they even had to get some wires cut, you know, the wires over the streets. Um, the house, you know, was too tall, even though it was just one floor, but, uh, you know, they had to even have some wires cut. And it, the house went down, um, El Monte Avenue in Arcadia. Uh, I guess that was a good street because it was nice and wide and not too much traffic. You can see some of our Halloween decorations. My mom, Lonnie, liked to put up decorations for Halloween and even had a little uh, Halloween party for me and the Girl Scouts and uh, kind of a spooky thing with a um, disco ball and, you know, you um, some little games like, you know, touch this weird t feeling thing and, you know, imagine what kind of scary thing it, it is. Oh, there's Grandma Yola. We spent some time in that side yard at 35... Uh, it had a lot of weeds before really high, uh, maybe two feet tall, um, scratchy weeds. So, you know, we got the hoe and the pick and everything and um, took all those weeds out and put this really nice grass in, probably put, you know, seeds. Um, I don't think it looks like that anymore. It wasn't kept up, but uh, it was nice then. And I kind of forgot what kind of tree we planted some of those trees. And here's my mom, Lonnie. That was our little van, a little camping van. 
would have a, uh, a little pup tent on it. And here's my playhouse, my fort, made out of many of these sturdy wooden tables and uh, some plywood.